Rosh Hashanah is an in-gathering. Um, it's the most wonderful thing in the world to see somebody from Cameroon embrace somebody from South Africa or Oklahoma. That, that peoples from all walks of lives and all cultures join together as one group and it sort of feels like this massive ball of light that just shines. Even though there may be a lot of, of judgment in the world, there may be a lot of negativity, the warmth and the love that we would share with each other, the, the unity that we would have can alter that judgment. And there's no other day that can do that. It's maybe the most important day of the year and the work that we do is really with the size, the type of year that we're going to have. Things happen. Things just happen. Things happen to us while well, we're there together as one community at Rosh Hashanah, wherever that is. The Zohar says that one of the most important things about Rosh Hashanah is not even so much the personal connections that we make, but the fact that we are within a group of people who are desiring to make that connection. That's, I think, a beautiful story about what can happen on the Rosh Hashanah, how it changes one's life. Having our community gather as one is for me what's, what's really unique and powerful about spending Rosh Hashanah at the Kabbalah Center, wherever we choose to do it. Regardless of what an individual knows or possibly is able to connect to on the day, if he's with a group of people who are desiring and drawing that light, he or she receives he it. receives it anyway as a gift. I myself felt that inadequacy in the first Rosh Hashanah. And many years after that, for my ability to understand the Hebrew properly, for, for, the, for the way of the prayers properly. We do this connection between deep emotions and connecting deeply to just being happy around with everyone. And I think we have that combination of our own internal work and depthness and, and crying and, and, and the singing and dancing that we do a lot. Some people may feel a little bit intimidated by the whole group, but eventually there's, there's so much warmth in that room. In these two days, I am making sure that all the blessings and all the light and all the health and all the healing that I need and my family needs and the world needs, I am bringing down into this world. If we just come open, you know, whatever the universe needs to give me messages, you know, messengers, if we're open, we would definitely have an amazing experience. But most important, my hope for anybody who comes is that we do the work together and prepare for each one of us the year filled with blessings and filled with light. And remember the Rabbi used to say to me, it doesn't really matter how we pray. It's the love and the concern and the consciousness that we put into that unity that counts. Mm -hmm.